film. Well, when you look at it, you know, that's right, this team is interesting because you lose those five seniors and everything that they did, you know, is leaving here and tied for the most victories of all time here, which is a tremendous accomplishment. Um, and the minutes of the guards played and what they did and how we kind of changed our system because of their talents and so forth. Um, Right there, that's a pretty big gap that you gotta figure out what you're gonna do with. But as you said, I mean, one of the things that could be every single game that we played, uh, we knew their post player. Their best post player on the other team was not gonna have as good a game as he usually had. That's a tremendous comfort level to have as a coach. Um, so it, it, it's interesting, we did lose a lot. And we lost a lot of experience, a lot of wins, a lot of, uh, Guts that had to fight through some you know, tough times, and but we still have a lot coming back too. So you know it, it, it's an interesting mix. New guys are going to have to take on different roles, expanded roles, and some new guys are going to have to make an impact. Flyer fans have been waiting for Juwan Chase for five years, but because he committed to the what does he bring to this program, and does he bring it right away? Do you expect him to be an impact? They haven't waited as long as I have. Uh, no, it's, it, it's great. You know, you, the, you, there's so many different. The whole recruiting thing, you know, that takes on a life of itself, and, and there was never a question. I, was gonna do it. I couldn't really say it, but it, you know, we knew it. Uh, and it's great to have him in our program. Uh, you know, he can do the things that uh, all the great point guards can do. And the one thing I like about him, he is thirsty and hungry to get coached every single day. He wants to become a great player. He wants feedback, uh, both positive and critical, because he knows you have to have both in order to expand your game and grow as a person and as a player. Um, you know, he, he's done a great job in, in every phase of the workouts during the, during the fall. But as I always say, freshmen are still freshmen. And as well as prepared as he has been, the background that he has, the mentality that he has, he's still a freshman. And, and with that comes some bumps and bruises. And, and the one thing I think he'll be able to do is sustain his concentration and his effort level during those tough times that all freshmen go through. A lot of times freshmen have to ease in. Is he an immediate impact guy that doesn't have to ease in as much? Well, when you look at who we lost and the amount of minutes that we lost on the perimeter, um, you know, it, 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 there's not going to be a lot of easy in, you know. Um, at the same time, with Paul Williams and, and, and Chris Wright and Chris Johnson, he also doesn't have to carry the load himself. Neither does Josh Parker coming in. Neither does Brandon Spearman, Devin Oliver, any of the new guys. Um, those guys need to really find their niche and, and find their role and really um, perform at that role every single day because the more consistent they become in that with the guys that we have coming back, the quicker we're going to grow as a team. Well, Chris, are you happy you came back and uh, really heading into this year off a championship season and with so much going on in, in your life during this offseason, uh, you ready to go? What's your thoughts? Now, I'm really excited to be back. You know, this is my last year, my last go-round. And every time, you know, coming in when I was a freshman, everything, like, they say you got the future, you got this, you got a three more years after this. But now, every time we do something for the first time, you know, as a team this year, it's my last time. So I just got to cherish and enjoy the moment. When you think about what uh, happened this summer and the experience you gained there, coming off a ch uh, the championship in the NIT, how much does that carry over to this season? How much have you learned and how much can that carry over this year? I mean, really this year, you know, it's a totally different team. You know, we still got some returners, but I mean, this is a different year. So we just got to come out here and prepare every day. And, you know, the summer was great for us and last season was great for us. And we had a tremendous offseason and we worked hard. And, you know, this summer for me was great. And at the same time, I just learned a lot from, you know, playing on the USA team. And I just brought the things that I learned, you know, from playing with the older guys and playing with the pros, you know, to this team and just try to share some of the things that I learned. But other than that, you know, it's a new year. We just got to take it day by day and be ready for the year. As a senior sense of urgency uh, a little bit more than it's been in the past couple of years? I mean, yeah, it's just this is my last go round. So, you know, now I know everything is done after this. You know, and there's no, are you going to stay or are you going to go? I got to get up out of here. So, you know, I just got to make the most of it and just try to leave a mark on the guys that I play with. You know, not them send me out with a bang. I just try to leave some with them so they can continue the tra tradition of working hard and, you know, just carry it on from there. 
you win a NIT championship, but you were picked to win the pre in preseason to win the Atlantic 10. You didn't do that. Does that leave a sour taste as you go into the season? I mean, stuff like that we don't really worry about, you know, because if the rankings was what won championships, then we won't have to play a season. So, you know, we just ready for the season. We're not worried about rankings. And last year, you know, I guess it was an upset for a lot of people because we didn't win the conference or, you know, didn't make it to the NCAA tournament. But, you know, that stuff that's behind us. So we're just going to keep moving. As you head in with some new faces, uh, are you excited about playing with some guys you haven't played with? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's real exciting because they're young and they're energetic. You know, they got a lot of power. You know, they got a lot of power to get out there and, you know, make a difference. You know, they're, they're guys that, you know, and Jawan and Brandon, and Ralph, you know, and Devin, you know, they're, they're good guys and they're going to contribute well and I can't wait to get them out there on the floor.